be smoking dumb. I don't, I don't be smoking either. Nigga, the most I'll smoke is a vape. Man. Shit. I only drink. I drink every day. Which which is not good for you either. But, like, I, I, I figured, I figured drink that's... Drink some more. Yeah, I should start drinking wine. I'll be, be drinking wine. You'll get, you'll, get, you'll get, bro, not only that, it's healthy for you. It gets you drunk slash high. And then, bro, it's like, there's no, there's no health defect. Yeah, I might have to start fucking with wine a little bit, man. Yeah, I've been, been going hard with that Henny. You know my nigga? Get red, is- uh-uh. Get, get red wine. Get, nigga, you drink one glass. You drink one glass of red wine, bro. You set, bro. You in a good vibe for hours. Nigga, nigga, don't kick no game to me like I'm your fans and shit, nigga. What the fuck? You kicking? My, red <laughs> wine, my nigga, nigga, uh, No, you are right, though. You are right. You are right. You are right. I, I, I got to get some wine to really mix up in my shit, bro. You got anxiety, fam. Why you say that? I can read you. I can see it. You, you know, I can read something about you. I was going to tell you this the last time, like, just me and you talk. I think, no, this is my theory. I think when, and I know you have gone to therapy. I think when niggas have gone to therapy, they see things or they see shit in people differently from other people. You get me? Mm. Because I, I feel like you, you going through that and like kind of also picking up certain shit you almost assume the role of a therapist sometimes when you're talking to other people. Because what, what, what's probably drawn out of you by your therapist, you could easily point out in other people. I've been like this, though. I just can read people. Why are you up this, this time, though? You don't sleep? I'm always up. Is she looking up hentai porn or some shit? Mm-mm, I should be, but no. Bro, yo, yo, can I get it on that vlog tomorrow, dog? You want to get on the vlog? Yeah, man. I want to kick some knowledge, too. You don't think I could kick some knowledge? You can. We just have to go into a pact if that's what you want to do. You be using certain words that be sound like a little bit too deep. A pact. <laughs> like, when niggas hear of a pact, sacrifice don't wolf, all that. Don't wolf, aren't wolves in packs? Uh, yeah. But when when you hear of a pact, when it comes to humans, it feels like a, an, a, like no, a lifetime agreement or, or a brother. Yeah. If you want longevity, you know I got longevity. I got longevity, so it has to just be an agreement. I ain't gonna lie, man. Bruh. <laughs> Do you, what, what books you read? I don't I don't read currently. Okay, what, what things do you study? Myself, the world. I've just passed my own judgment. You know, that's what all authors really do. All authors. See, it's it's hard it's harder to to read a book than it is to write it, truly. Okay, I get all that. But there's somewhere where you have cultivated certain type of messages or even cultivating the way that you put those messages out and you've learned how to disseminate it in a way that people could, could digest and subscribe to. That's yeah. not, I don't believe that's natural. It is natural. Stop it, nigga. It is natural. The only book I've ever read that taught me more about my mind was The Master Key. And that's when I was in jail. But it had nothing to do with my mind. I was, my mind had already formulated this judgment, this perception. I've always perceived differently. That's why I was always the oddball. Hey, oh, oh, by the way, you're on my stream. I don't know if you know. Right now? Yeah, nigga. That's what, oh, you probably don't know. There's a headset. When I, when I have this on, I'm usually on stream. Damn, nigga, why you ain't let me know? <laughs> you ain't saying nothing crazy. But, but no, what I was going to say is that, yo, shit, you were, like, super turnt earlier. Now you're just, like, in a zen mode, kicking, like, you know what I mean, on some, look like you're trying to have a deep conversation and shit. Because my little cousin was around earlier, so I'd just be trying to make my little cousin happy. I'd just, I'd be trying to entertain him. Yo, what was uh that conversation you had with Kodak? How was Which that? one? Well, I don't know how many times you guys talk, but he put up a conversation and you were trying to tell him to be safe. You are like, yo, listen, watch the people around you and watch your surroundings. I felt, I'm a very, I'm a very, I'm a very aware person. And I felt energy formulating towards Kodak that he didn't need, well, that he didn't want or need formulating against him. I won't put it into words. He He's not, he's... He's very ignorant to certain things, but it's because he wants to be. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to. Like, I, I don't want to speak for the next man. You yeah. feel me? But 
all I was just I was being the 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 equilibrium in that situation, just telling him, providing him the options spiritually that he needed to perceive in order to move forward or to move backwards. But that who all falls down to me. Who does that hmm? view? That's the lonely part about being me. Nobody. Somebody probably does. No. Parents. Why would I lie? I don't have to lie to you. No, no what, 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 not necessarily. I didn't say a lie, but what I'm saying is that who who do you often see like tries to give you that type of, hey, listen, stop doing Everyone this. can offer support, but nobody can be my backbone. I am my backbone. Hmm. It, it, what, what was Kodak and then I, receptive? Were you receptive today? Kodak, Kodak was very receptive. Kodak was definitely very receptive because it's it's a mutual respect thing. Like, but it's like, regardless of anything, we got to respect each other's minds because of who we are. You know what I'm saying? And where we are and who we are, we're the only one that has amounted to what we've amounted to. Now, it's different if I was some random nigga coming to him, spitting no game at all. But look how much I've achieved. You know what I'm saying? Look how much I've achieved. Look where my mind is. And look how how differently are I articulate myself from him. And we grew up basically in the same place. We both grew up in Broward in a different city, but we grew up around the same place. You feel me? So in the, in the same context, look how I've come out and look how he's come out. We're two different people. He he has different mannerisms and he has different perception. So all I did was evaluate on my perception and what the world was telling me to tell him. And he perceived that. And whether he moves in that direction or not, I respect him as a man. He's going to be a man regardless. So, you, you, do, you ever feel, do you ever feel like like you owe it to your fans to kind of steer them? Like Because I feel like that's what the vlogs yes. are. Yes, and, that's what, I, and that's, what I'm doing. And that's what I'm doing. But my main thing is, it's a difference, right? It's a difference to be wanted and needed. If I'm needed, right? If this energy is needed, because it is. We don't have many teachers. We don't have many prophets. You know what I'm saying? How It was funny because Bob Marley said something very important. How long are, It was either Bob Marley or somebody. How long are we going to sit aside and let them murder our prophets? How long are we going to sit aside? Like You have these people that arise and come out of nowhere and our teachers and our, and our people that are supposed to lead and push people in the right direction with energy. Do you These feel are like you're a teacher and a leader? Of the youth, yes. Of the youth, because they are, they are the ones that can be molded. I have to be very careful with my message. All I want is for people to be able to be themselves, to be free-minded, to ideally understand themselves more, to, and to unlock that piece of their mind that gives them clarity, that gives them ground. You know what I'm saying? But in order for me to lead people in that direction or to lead those anyone in that direction people have to show the, the necessity the need that for, for me you know what i'm saying they have to elaborate on that they have to be willing to show me that they they care about me and put that equal effort whether it means physically going somewhere and speaking about me or like bro it would it would mean the world to me if people would go out of their way and leave their how their houses physically and do whatever they could to help me you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. And if everybody put in that equal amount of energy, then I could amount to what I needed to amount to to really assert myself. But sometimes it's better. Like, I, I don't be trying to, like, tell people, like, oh, yeah, bro, save me. I'm not trying to tell people that. Because if it's genuine, people will do it. Yo, you're at top of the rap game, at, at least for, you know what I mean? Uh -uh. At least, I, okay. Rap game, no. I'm, I'm on top of the music game. Okay. Well, but I still even have to put a caveat yeah. When, when it comes to your generation, because it's gonna be somebody who points out like some huge megastar and be like, he's not on that level. But still, when when, when it comes but, to but, when, right, here's here's a, here's a strange thing though, you do realize that my energy is purely mine, right? Like explain. Like my energy is purely mine. Like you can call my label and ask them, like how much, like how much, if they were able to do any promotion behind anything I've done, and, and it, it will be no, like because even when I dropped my last album, seventeen. All those numbers was purely off the strength of my fan base. Purely. And that amazed the fuck out of everyone. Because it was like, yo. Like, alright. To compare it to Uzi's drop, right? Uzi's drop had plenty of interviews behind it. Uzi had a huge... Had a major, rollout marketing budget. Yeah, exactly. And it was all planned. Pre-planned. -pre now, with mine, that was literally me, me saying, yo. Me talking to my fans. Yo, I'm dropping it on this day and I'm going to drop it. My label had no my my label had no clue 
Nobody knew what the fuck I was doing. I you just had a dropped. distribution deal. That's important to know. You had a distribution exactly. deal. Exactly. I had a distribution. They weren't going to promote your stuff. They were going to just put just it out pay. there. They were going to just put it out and pay for it and get a percentage. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I mean, do you think your fan base has changed? I mean, at first when it was announced that you uh, signed, which, by the way, like, and just personally. People haven't, my fan base has not changed. And I don't like to call it a fan base. My family has not changed. My supporters have not changed. It's what we've appropriated that has changed. It's what has become the cool shit that has changed. Some like look, as new artists come out, different ways waves will surface. But not all of these have longevity. Not all of these have the same purpose and meaning. Not all of these have the same raw energy. You can go to like all right. It's hard. It's it's very hard to explain. But you can see it in the energy. You can see it in the message. You can see it and everything. Like all right. Look how many times I've got, my, like I said, look how many times I've got my ass kicked in the media. Look how many times. Bro, I have millions of dollars. I have million dollars, millions of dollars. I know plenty of people. If I really wanted someone to be harmed, I could harm them. I've stuck by my message purely not from, not, it's not for me. It's for, it's for them. Mm -hmm. To show it's possible. It's not for me. Because if it was for me, I would have been gotten revenge. I would have been gotten revenge. And that's always how I was. I changed myself in order to be that person for them. To be that platform for them. So when I got punched in my shit, when I went through what I went through, even when I went back to jail that last time, right? For some shit. I'm like, and I'm not even going to evaluate on that because I'm not supposed to. I was told to, but not to, not to by the court. So I can't say anything about that. But even when I went back to jail last time, no, I didn't. I, I, I did want to ask you one thing. Again, nothing about the case or anything like that. Just your mindset. When you were remanded and they put you in jail for that first day. Did you kind of, again, and I don't know if you ever looked to a higher power or not, but did you kind of look at yourself and say, yo, I fucked up? Like, yo, I'm back where I never wanted to return after no. I got out the last time. No, because I know it was the universe protecting me. What do you mean? It was the universe protecting me. You felt Because I might have I been in the wrong place at the wrong time during that time. Mm, so you didn't look at it as a bad thing because at that no. point it, it was probably one of the worst times you could go in. Why would you say that? I mean, you're a very successful artist. You just came off dropping a very successful album. You're you just uh, reportedly signed a six million dollar deal, which which is still that's all material. Okay, but to get locked up at that point, it's like almost stopping a reality progress. Check. So you, you felt it was a reality check. Did, yeah, did, did I was you only, think that, you I was think only that initially? In, I was only in jail for six to seven days. Initially, I questioned my entire life. I, um, I wanted to, I wanted to commit suicide. I started to question myself. But in question, life really starts with a question, wouldn't it? Doesn't life start with a question? Everything starts with a question. So I began to question myself. Anything that can cause you to question yourself is simply a reality check. Who am I currently? Where where am I headed? What are my goals? I had realized that I had abandoned a lot of things that had made me the person I was. I had almost lost my reason. I saw myself going towards a direction that I wasn't supposed to go towards. Now, the reason I had went back to jail was a fucked up reason because it wasn't a, a real, real, real valid reason and I won't evaluate on it. But... Everything worked out how it was supposed to, wasn't it? You know what? I'll give you credit for this. You're definitely one of the most self-aware artists I know. You know why? Because you've gone through a lot of ups and downs. Like, shoot. We saw, are we talking about music? Are we talking about music artists? Um, well, are we talking no, about artists, period? Because no, if we're no, talking no, no, about no. artists, no, Jim let, Carrey is. No. Let's remove even just artists. People. Jim because, Carrey. Jim Carrey. Oh, no, no, but, but, but I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to elaborate on you. Okay. You got knocked out on stage, and yeah. we've had multiple conversations since then. And you, and I, this is the self awareness part, where you could say, you know what, when that happened to me, I fucked up in terms of how I handle something, or I jumped out like out the window, or whatever. A lot of times, people don't think that ever. You know what I mean? When something happens to you bad, you don't because really they're not thinking for the long run. Like, did it? Was it a process for you to feel like that though? Because at degrees. first, I could imagine, even with the... I've never... Let me tell you something. I've never been a man of ego. You want to know the difference between me and artists? And the, all these other artists? Mm -hmm. I've never been a man of ego. Ever. The only ego I've had is simply feeling as if I deserved loyalty. 
that's the only sense of ego I've had in that if someone was disloyal to me that it would hurt me and that's the only sense of ego I've had that I've that's the only even like and you can't even really attach that to ego you understand hey, hey do you tie your need because I, a lot a lot of people like you and even me like I value loyalty very high yes, on totem yes. people but I remember you you put up some posts and I hope and again I'm not telling you what you should put in your next vlog or whatever vlog but I hope you do elaborate on that like one time you had put up a string of posts explaining why you were certain ways and, and you, you were talking about how like it was kind of like like your, your, your father abandoned you and like you didn't grow up with a dad you know what I mean is 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 that dependency um that probably came from that the reason why you value loyalty let, so let me true? let me clear let me clarify something because um I don't want my words because I've even twisted my own words out of emotion you know because mm -hmm. everything is Everything is very real. So I say, I speak on how I feel at the moment. You understand? So, um, abandon, abandon in the aspect, abandon in the aspect, like, okay, my father did what he deemed fit for his life, right? Now, that may be deemed, that was deemed as selfish to me because he could have taken the hard route. He could have taken the hard route just as I took the hard route because I did take the hard route. He could have took the hard route, and he would have got a much more rewarding future. You understand? But in that, in that, I wouldn't be me. I would be a lesser. I wouldn't be the person I exist to be today. So it was in that him being selfish and making his own decisions for what he deemed fit for his current, for what was his current situation, that made me who I am. So I no longer try and dwell. Like, all right, look at it this way. I hated, I hated, like, I hated my, I hated my dad because his previous decisions had affected me. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it affected me spiritually because my dad was in it, like, I got locked up and was going to jail and shit. I ended up going through the same process. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now... As far as his upbringing, his upbringing was far different than me. Mine was not traditional. My, I, it was almost like being thrown into a void, you know? And there's a lot about my family that people do not know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that my mom has been through, my family is just like kind of spaced apart, you know? So it's, it's, it's a lot to later on. So resentment, like, I don't resent anyone. However, I do have to walk my own path. I don't. I don't. Hold on, though. Okay, maybe not. Res resentment is a strong word. Yeah. But even you understanding that with Ski, didn't you feel a way? With my with my father or with Ski? No, no, with Ski. Like like even understanding why I felt away because I was I felt away because I was naive. I felt away because I was selfish. I felt away because I did not feel the pain he felt. He is a man of ego. Now I can't. I can't. I can't relate because I'm not a man of ego. I would not know how it felt to be, uh, picture ego as a demon. All right? Picture it. Picture, hey, hey, you ain't going to sit here and tell me that you, you, you don't have any ego. How would I if I, sh I shaved off my fucking eyebrows and made myself ugly as a lesson? I made myself ugly as a lesson. I destroyed my sense of character as a lesson. Let's go. Stop playing with my I don't know if that's I don't know if that's ego or if it's um it's it's like an image type of thing. It's not an image. It was me destroying. It was me destroying my previous self. Everyone was attached to this black and yellow hair and this attractive mugshot that made that made me be perceived as a beautiful person. I destroyed that person and turned into someone else that was perceived as ugly. Well, you are but I wasn't I wasn't ugly inside. Hmm. I was only ugly on the outside. So, 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 were you doing that for the people who perceived you as that, or were you? Doing I was that doing for it. You? I was doing it for everyone. I was doing it for them. I was doing it for myself, because I was the next step. So, I mean, clearly now, like eyebrows are back, or whatever, and you know, I mean, it is is that process complete? Do you feel like you have destroyed that image of um, of you that had you look a certain way? It's it's slow it's slowly it's slowly killing itself because I have not I have not been that same person. 
I've not my actions have spoken. You understand? My actions have spoken for themselves. I mean, for 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 yeah, for itself. So it's. What do you think can change for the better or for the worst? For the better. For the better. The only part is I I care a lot. I care too much about other people or people that I don't even know. Like really realize that there are literally no artists doing what I'm doing. And that carries a lot of weight to bear everyone on my back, to take responsibility for the youth. Mm. That carries a lot of weight. So all, all I asked for in return was physical and mental loyalty. That carries a lot. Like people only perceive, cause I, cause I, like I've been more playful and more like, more comical and nice. You know what I'm saying? But understand that this is a huge. It is it, it, just like it's a, a blessing. It is a burden. Yeah. Because if I say the wrong thing, do understand that I have a million parents, teenagers, and kids responding negatively or positively, and all while. Doing these things, I have to be genuine. So the words have to be real. Because if I'm upset, I'm going to respond how I deem necessary when I'm upset. But it has to be real. You understand? Of course. Listen, at one point, I remember we had we had a pretty heated discussion, but a respectable discussion. And, and that's why I respect you. Where, I, you know, you ain't going to call me and I'm the guy who's going to just agree with whatever you say. I'm going to challenge you and... You're going to give your side. I'm going to try to give a side. And shoot, hopefully we both grow in that conversation. Of I course. remember there was a time you were very frustrated with the media. You, their depiction of you, um, things they would choose to show, things yeah. they would not show. I, li I like what you just said, choose to show. Um, do you feel I've, that? I've seen, I've seen you be very genuine in what you post. You're, okay. a real, you're, you're, you're a real one when it comes to that. Okay. You as well, at least when it comes to me. Okay. Uh, have you seen, and again, when I, when I say the media, I am a part of the media, but I'm expanding it to every media from the small publications to the YouTubers to the giant publications. Have you seen a change? Have you seen them be a little bit more fair in dealing with you? They can't talk. They can't say as much, bro, because then they lose. They, they Bro, power. I, I am my own power. That's what people got to realize. You can't abuse my power. It is going to backfire. You use my energy. And you think you're going to disrespect me in the process. And it will destroy you. It may take a little while, but it will destroy you. It will destroy you. Because my 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 supporters and family are much, much, much different from everyone else's supporters and, and, and what well, they call them fans. They're much different. So you get a very, very different response. And you don't need... Like, okay, yeah, it's sensationalism. Sensationalism. And you get that what you want for the mean for the meanwhile but then after a while they see that okay the people behind this are bad people so the only ones that will feed on that energy are bad people so if you like to feed on that energy you're a weak person you're a weak person and you and you like to you it's building all right people like to see other people in pain because it builds their pride mm. it makes them feel better like well at least that's not me that is true um, exactly. um, it feels like also you're alluding to balance as well. Um, I'm again, we won't even call out particular publications, but we've seen you on like even your Insta Snap or whatever it is it the Insta Story. Um, Insta like, Story. Yeah, y you've kind of told your fans like these publications here they're not giving me a fair shake. Please don't view me as they will portray me, or d d don't fuck with them. Period. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, have you tried to like reach out? Have you tried to repair? Why the repair? fuck would I do that? That's ingenuine. Well, niggas gonna hate me regardless. I'd rather them hate me. Well, well, sometimes people hate what they don't know, and they hate they make, what they don't understand. They make they make me more popping when they hate me. I got I got so many people behind my back. They just need to make sure they're loving me properly. They need to give me the proper love. That's all it is. They need to give me to what's gonna help me benefit, so I can help them benefit. They need to give me the energy that I need so I can move forward. 
so is it like a dependence at least for you on, on on the people who do love you to keep it going because i remember i am very much so dependent on them yes they okay. actually i was wrong when i said i am my backbone they are my backbone because you know what i remember right it was it was, it was the first time i talked to you in a while but you called me right after that bt award shit happened but it was an interesting time for you you were getting hammered in the media and also i believe like one of your family members that got shot and I yeah, feel like, I, I, yeah, I think with all the criticism you were getting, it was it was a time that I could tell, like, you were trying to fall back a bit. You know what I mean? And, of course, you eventually, like, you know what I mean, got back on your shit. But it felt like it was the people who had to support you for that. So do you kind of just look at, like, your fan base, your, your family, as you call it, you look at them for support in everything you do? Yep. No, but there's a difference between mental support and going online. Or getting up out of your getting up out of your bed and finding ways to support me however you can. What do you mean though? That's vague. So, so, so you, you want you want to mobilize. It's not my, you want to mobilize. My, my mind is a kingdom. Take pride in being a part of my mind. Is basically what I tell them. If I am destroyed, this energy that you crave and you desire and that you use, like okay. If something were to happen to me, right? Like all right. If I got shot and ended up in the hospital and I don't have a million people outside of that hospital trying to get inside, storming inside to make sure I'm okay, I will I would never, ever make music ever again. Hmm. And I would I would abandon and become the evil person that everybody perceived me to be. And I would just be selfish like everybody else. Because then what was everything for? And I know it's possible. I know it's possible because my mind is a kingdom. Take pride in making, take pride in being a part of that kingdom. That energy that they feed on, this music that they use to repair their souls. Do you know how much energy I put into that? Do you know how much I sacrifice to do that? Mm, not too sure what happened there. Hold up. <laughs> 